if you've just added chlorine or shock to your pool and your tests are showing low chlorine levels or no chlorine at all, you've got a chlorine demand problem on your hands. And chlorine demand is a completely different issue than chlorine lock. Luckily, there are some simple ways to get your chlorine back to normal. Check it out. Before we dive in, if you're looking for help keeping your pool clean and clear, check out our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's a totally free, easy to use guide to help you keep track of taking care of your pool. First, what is chlorine demand versus chlorine lock? These terms are sometimes used interchangeably, but they're very different. In fact, chlorine lock isn't even a real problem. Some pool companies and experts claim that if you have too much cyanuric acid, AKA chlorine stabilizer in your water, your chlorine won't function well. The theory goes that when this happens, the chlorine's chemical reaction gets locked by the stabilizer and it can't sanitize. Well, the opposite is actually true. Cyanuric acid actually helps chlorine to do its job. CYA stabilizes the chlorine in your water and prevents it from breaking down as quickly. Of course, it is possible to have your CYA be too high, so be sure to test your levels regularly. But high CYA does not cause your chlorine to become useless or locked up. What's actually occurring is a lack of chlorine, and that's called chlorine demand. So what is chlorine demand and what causes it? Chlorine demand means that the chlorine in your water is being consumed faster than it can be added to your water. When you add chlorine to your water, it only stays effective for so long. If you have lots of debris or contaminants or a lot of swimmers in your pool, you'll need more chlorine to properly sanitize your water. In other words, when there's more to sanitize in your pool, the chlorine demand is higher. And if you don't add more chlorine to compensate, your chlorine will become less and less effective. Chlorine demand can also happen in the spring when you first open your pool or if your pool hasn't been properly cared for in a while. During the winter or when your water sits stagnant, your pool can accumulate organic contaminants and this takes extra chlorine to neutralize. The other culprit is heavy rainfall. If you have trouble maintaining your chlorine reading after a rainstorm, chances are that you have a chlorine demand problem. So how do you know if you have chlorine demand? Well, first you wanna test your water, then begin by adding chlorine to your pool. Once you give it enough time to circulate, retest your water's chlorine level. If you get a very low reading or no chlorine reading at all, this is a case of chlorine demand. You can also bring a sample of your water into a local pool supply store to get a chlorine demand test. So here's how to cure chlorine demand. Because chlorine demand means the chlorine in your water is being consumed faster than it can be added, you'll need to super chlorinate your water. And the best way to do that is by shocking your pool. Now, before you shock your pool, you wanna make sure that you test and adjust your alkalinity and pH levels. Then you'll wanna add a triple dose of calcium hypochlorite shock, AKA Cal Hypo shock. To triple shock your pool, add three pounds of shock per 10,000 gallons of water. Before adding the shock, make sure that your CYA or stabilizer level is between 30 parts per million and 80 parts per million, with 50 parts per million being ideal. Also remember to shock at night because sunlight can break down your chlorine. Keep your filter system running to distribute the shock and then retest your water after it circulates overnight or after eight hours. Chlorine demand is easy to prevent if you keep a simple weekly maintenance schedule. Test and balance your water, brush and vacuum debris from your pool, and then add chlorine sanitizer whenever your levels start to drop. It's also a good idea to shock your pool once a week to keep contaminants at bay. And if you tend to get a lot of leaves and dirt in your pool, be sure to use a pool cover. Now, if you want more help with pool care, go grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again, and happy swimming.